Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Genoa. Today we're going to be taking on Palmer in hopefully a must-win game. And then we're going to be going away from home against the Juventus. I've been messing around with the formation and tactic, alright? Didn't judge us. So in the games you missed since the last time we met, the first of which was a very, very good one. I'll draw at home against Inter Milan. Romelu Lukaku put them in front 28 minutes in, but Hlozek got an equaliser 80 second minutes. He's fantastic, by the way, Adam Hlozek. If you've got the opportunity to sign him, I would certainly do so. And I started messing with the formation, going like for a more of a 4-3-3 than a 4-4-2 diamond. Uh, Hlozek got a hat-trick in this one. Eldor got one coming off the bench as well. And I'm still tinkering with it, but I'm, I'm thinking I like it. We then had Virtus Entella again, this time in the league. The last one was in the Italian Cup and we won 3-0. Hlozek, Almada and Belmont. We continued with our 4-3-3 against Empoli away from home and actually won this one 3-1. David Carmo from the corner, his first one in the season. Hlozek and Moise Keane rounded out the scoring. So that's either uh, Serie A table looking like this. We currently sit in ninth position, but we have a load of games in hand on many of the sides that are above us. So realistically, we're probably around 6th once you take into those games in hand into consideration. But of course, uh, we're not we're not banking on that just yet. Hlozek still in the top goal scoring list, currently sitting in 3rd. 3 goals behind it, Lewis Muriel and 2 behind Lukaku. So we've got the two games today against Palmer and UV. Uh, the January transfer window is fast approaching though and we have one signing in mind that I think I would like to do. Wages might be the only issue. Carlos Alenia. His contract is running out at the end of the season. He's on 70k per week at Barcelona, which might be my only sticking point. The idea would be, if we were to return to the 4-4-2 diamond at the very least, training Thiago Almada to be a Metzala in the centre of midfield and playing Carlos Alenia in the attacking midfield role. What do you think? Do you think it's a good signing? I'm not too sure of myself. I'll have to wait and see uh, when the January transfer window comes up. There is a couple of other approaches I'm going to make, but mainly youngsters. Um, apart from that, we need to start thinking about the future. Obviously, we've got Moise Keane up front. It's unlikely we're going to be able to sign him at the end of his loan spell, so maybe having a look at a couple of strikers who could potentially replace him. Uh, a central midfielder is definitely an option. Uh, goalkeeper as well, definitely an option we could look at, but we've got 10 million quid to spend. It's coming up. Uh, we've got to start thinking about spending because it'll burn a hole in my pocket otherwise. So this is how we've been playing uh, more recently. Sometimes we push Belmont on to support the centre of the midfield, but we've been playing. It's all been because of Almada. It's his fault I'm messing with it. Um, I'm trying, <laughs> trying to get the most out of him without playing him on the wing. Uh, and I'm not. I'm struggling to do so. This is how we'll line up for today's game. The first one at home against Parma. Sardella, Amedovic, Carmo, Munoz in the defence with Sport yellow wing goal. Belmont, Melagoni. It's full strength side. Almada up front rather than the attacking midfield. Let's get to it. Adam Hlozek is a god. He will save us if we need it. Three points, please, boys. First highlight of the game comes 12 minutes in. It's Palmer on the attack down the right-hand side. We do manage to get a clear. And Melagoni is the first man to the ball. He's bombed down this right-hand side. He's only got Hlozek in inside. That's all you need, though. That is all you need. His 15th goal of the season. A devastating counter-attack for Palmer there, but... We don't mind about that. You can see our two other strikers are coming back on the defence when we're out of possession. So that's not too bad. I quite like that. Hlozek being the one sticking on the last man. And that's the reason why you can do that sort of thing. Another highlight now. A goal kick. Well, a free kick from the goalkeeper for Palmer comes to us. Almada's got it on the right-hand side. He goes for goal. Set here with an easy save. Corner for us. Alcaraz, the man to take it. It's cleared straight away by Valenti, but we retain possession through Filippo Melagioni. Still got the options on the left-hand side from the corner. Alcaraz back to Moise Keane. He's in behind. Moise Keane, he's, here. he's been a bit quiet the past few games, I'll not lie. But he gets his eighth goal of the season, putting us 2-0 up, and things are looking comfortable. Another highlight now, 38 minutes in. Munoz on the edge of the box. He's taken down by the Hernani. Oh, where, ref? Where's the penalty? Where's VR? Sardella whips in Alcaraz. Oh, what a save. Ah, he's hit the post. Surely that was a penalty though. Palmer on the ball now with, can you remember Jovino last season scoring a hat-trick and beating us 3-0? I remember. Terra Vest coming down the right-hand side, whips it in. Oh, no, 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 no. Sardella let it go all the way through. Thankfully, IU completely messed up the opportunity. But they do retain possession. Cornelius is through. Oh, tight angle. Sporty Yellow had to be smart about his save. Mela join you with a free kick just before half-time. Palmer get it clear. Amedzevic will keep the ball alive. Munoz switches the player brilliantly to Melagioni. He's got acres of space in the box. 
the pass or the shot or whatever that was was definitely the incorrect decision. We do retain possession though. Belmont tries to play the ball over the top for Hlozek. Gets cleared by Palmer and Cornelius holds it up well and Jovino kind of get past Alcaraz, man. He's a beast. Hlozek picks up the ball. He's got the speed to beat this defender. We know he has. He's got options in the box now. They're arriving slowly, but he's going for goal himself. He shouldn't have. Highlight's not over. Oh, Sardella. So many mistakes. I use there at the left side. Cornelius. Uh, Sardella takes full responsibility for that. He would like to apologise to the fans and the viewers. And uh, that's his second mistake today that I've spotted during the highlights. He's on a 7.4. Of course he is. I mean... He doesn't slide chance for that. The ball's going to go past him. Just mark your man and jockey him outside. 2-1. Things are not looking so rosy now going in at half time. We'll follow our assistance advice. Give them faith. And uh, kick off for the second half. Almada with a free kick for us. Plays it in. Is that a penalty? Melodjoni's brought down in the box. Is it going to be a VAR check? We'll, uh, we'll find out shortly. Thankfully, he's not going over to the screen to review it himself. And it has been given as a penalty. Almada, I'm assuming will be the man who steps up to take it. It certainly is. Can he bury this? He can. Genoa 3, Palmer 1. Two goal cushion is fine by me. Another highlight now. We have the ball in the midfield. Melodoni and Belmont combining to find Moyes Kane. He's driving forward. He's going for goal. A little bit ambitious, Moyes, but I appreciate it. Alcaraz. Ball over the top for Adam Hlozek's good. I thought he was going to burst forward there. Moyes Kane. <laughs> Maybe I need to tell Moyes Kane to stop shooting. 20 minutes to go. We'll look to rest some legs. Uh, Melodjoni, we can take off for Casata. Uh, Carlos, Carlos, our centre midfield seems to really, really struggle with this sort of system in terms of keeping their stamina. So we'll take Alcaraz off for Milan Bedell as well. Sardella will take off for Giglione. I know the average rating stat looks quite good for Sardella, but um, I'm not happy with his contribution in terms of their goal. Anyway, we have a highlight 15 minutes to go. It's Terra Vest coming down the right hand side for Palmer. Oh, the seas parted. Thank God for Sport Yellow. The highlight continues though. Milan Bedell can bring it forward. Moise Keane's the option. Adam Hlozek's there as well. And he gets his goal. 16 goals for the season. His second goal of today's game. He is a cheat code. 80 minutes gone. 10 to go. Giglione coming down the right hand side. Whips it in. It's poor. We have the options on the left though. Munoz with a lovely ball through. Adam Hlozek is not offside either. Unless there's a VAR check. Which I don't think there is. He is hat-trick for today. His 17th goal of the season. He is really enjoying the three-striker formation, I'll not lie. We're getting the best out of him in this sort of role. Whether Almada and Moise Keane appreciate it, maybe, maybe not. But as long as we're winning games and playing well, I'm more than happy. The highlights straight from kickoff after the goal as well. Hlozek is in behind again. Can he get his fourth? <laughs> he can. <laughs> Adam Hlozek, I absolutely love you, my boys. How much do we pay? Eight million? Eight and a half million? Absolute bargain. Free kick for us. Thiago Almada is going to take it. I don't even know why they show me these. We're, we're not very good from uh, set pieces. Can we make it seven? We won seven. Amedzevic, Belmont, out to Giglione on this right-hand side. He's got options in the box now at the penalty spot. Can he whip it in? <sighs> I mean, I'm not sure who he's aiming for there. Belmont, out of the right-hand side for Giglione once again. Can his cross be better? Second time of asking. It is better. Oh, the keeper. Hlozek. Five goals for the game. Seven one. <laughs> And there we have it, full time, Genoa 7, Palmer 1. They beat us 3-0 last season. 3-0, and now we're beating them 7-1. Absolutely fantastic. The formation definitely works against sides that we're expected to be beaten. Let's see how it gets on against Juventus. So we're at the UV game. We remain unchanged for that 7-1 win against Palmer. Why would we change anything? Um, obviously, Juventus are going to be a much more difficult test. They're not... The unbeatable team that they have been on previous versions of FM, I think they're sitting third at the minute. And did they? I don't think they won the league last season. I think Inter Milan did. So um, it'd be an interesting game anyway. I'm not expecting anything from it. But uh, hopefully Hlozek can get a few more goals. First highlight of the game, it's Juventus who are in possession. They work the ball well. The Dybala who's playing through the centre alone. Uh, Ronaldo's on the left-hand side. So I was a little bit surprised to say that Quadrado go for goal. It uh, goes wide. Another highlight now, if we're sensible with the ball and don't lose it, I'll be pleased. Sardella, big punt over the top, delict. Oh, was, I was half expecting a clearance through for Dybala there, but we do retain possession and uh, hopefully we can build something here with Alcaraz. Oh, I mean, oh, he's pulled up, Alcaraz. Keane, he's in behind. Moise Keane against his former club, can't beat Chesney. 
Algaraz seems fine. He's he's okay, I think. Um, we'll have to wait and see. He just pulled up there and stopped. Hopefully, it wasn't anything too serious. Oh, no, now his heart's gone down. Uh, I think we're going to have to get him off at some point. We'll give him a couple more minutes in game, see how he uh, gets back into the game, whether that recovers or not. But we do have a corner. That's taken a while to get going. Melajoni plays it in, and it's cleared. 35 minutes in. Neither side really dominating the game. We're pretty evenly matched right now. Um, we'll see how this goes. Melajoni, Almada combining down this right-hand side with Sardella overlapping. He's got a lot of work to do, though. He's, he gets past Alexandro. Can he whip it in? Uh, he goes all the way back to Belmont, which is fine. We keep the play nicely. Sardella and phew, Almada combining. Sardella gives it away. Thankfully, Juventus are uh, not exactly composed in possession. And we can take advantage. It's Adam Hlozek in behind again. <laughs> he is so friggin' good. Adam Hlozek's first, first goal of the season. He's 20th goal of the season. He's first goal of the game. And we go 1-0 up with only 10 minutes remaining in the first half. Algaraz seems to have recovered his fitness a bit, but I think we're going to get him off at half-time anyway. We'll bring on um, Casata in the centre of the park just to save him. He's one of our best players, genuinely. So I don't want to see him getting injured. We'll bring on Francesco Casata. He can do a job for us in there. Um, Juventus, all to do in the second half. First highlight the second half comes 52 minutes in. Belmont on the ball for us. Don't give it away, Almada. Oh, we had Sardella away there as well if we didn't... Uh, the pass didn't get cut out. Keane to Hlozek. He's got runners through in behind. Is he offside? Moise Keane. Ah, uh, he was a mile off. Even I saw that one. 20 minutes to go. We'll have a look. Melodjoni definitely needs to come off. We'll bring on Stefano Sturaro in the centre of the park. We're going to change him as well to a box-to-box. -box. Just a little, slightly more defensive. I'm not completely turtling up here. But um, we'll start to make subtle changes to the way we play. Sturaro with a free kick. Chesney gets it cleared. Don't let this be a devastating counter. David Carmo thankfully gets there first ahead of the attacker. Casata, ball over the top for Lozak. They deal with it well this time. And Belmont's not getting there first. Federico Chiesa, he's come on for Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm assuming. Sport yellow saves. 15 minutes to go. Juventus on the ball. Kessie. Is that Frank Kessie? It is Frank Kessie. The sign in from AC Milan. Nice. Delict. Feeds it inside to Chiesa. He's got Bernadeschi on the left hand side. Overlap and they're in behind Christiansen. Oh, oh. David Como managed to get clear. Almada is going to be the first man to the ball. And there is a good opportunity here. Lozek's already on the last man. Get off. I don't want to see you right now. Oh, Moise King gives the ball away and Quadrado's away. It's a counter-attacking counter opportunity for Juventus. He goes for goal. Thankfully, his shot is poor. Another highlight now. We win the ball after a poor header from Alexandro. Sardella coming down the right-hand side. Feeds it to Hlozek, who's always on that last man. He's got Moise King at the back post. He's going to go for goal himself. Oh, Hlozek. I would have put the mortgage on him scoring that. With 10 minutes to go, we are going to make another sub. We're going to bring on Milan Bedell for uh, Belmont in defensive midfield. Five minutes to go, boys. This could be an absolutely massive win. Almada with a free kick. Oh, David Carmo was brought down in the box. Come on, referee. That was disgusting. VAR is checking the penalty. Please give it. Penalty has been awarded. Thiago Almada has the opportunity now to put us 2-0 up with only two minutes remaining and with three points away from home against... It's not... It's Bedell. <laughs> Bedell puts us 2-0 up with only a couple of minutes remaining. That is surely all she wrote for this game. We've played really, really well against Juventus today. They've had a good amount of uh, opportunities themselves, but they haven't really been creating the good opportunities to put the ball in the back of the net. I should stop speaking right now because there is still three minutes left and Juventus could quite easily come down the other end and score and make it interesting. Dybala can't get past Sport Yellow. And there we have it, boys. Full time. UV nil. Genoa 2, absolutely phenomenal. Two wins out of two. We are, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this season. And after that result, Juve were actually top. We rise to fourth in the league, still with games in hand on some of the teams around us as well. So we could, we might start challenging for the Champions League spots, boys. I'm not uh, not jumping the gun here, but as long as Adam Hlozek keeps up his uh, electrifying form, I think it is a possibility. And with January transfer window around the corner, we could look to make some improvements to our squad. We've got 11 million quid and around 100k available in the wages. Um, with sellable players as well. So, yeah. Interesting, interesting few months coming up in the game. Looking forward to the next episode, though. We are going to get some Italian Cup action into ourselves. We're going to get Lazio away from home. See if we can perform better than, them, better than we did against them in the league. And, of course, Fiorentina after that. And we'll have any January transfer business that manages to get accomplished in the first couple of weeks of the game. But anyway, lads, 
If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.